feel the need to unwind and rest, flotation therapy might be what you need to reset yourself and available right here in Craigle Park, Joburg. So floating is an amazing therapy. It's all about creating an environment where you have no stimulation on your body. No light, no sound, no touch, no temperature. And the whole point of this complete lack of stimulation on your body is to create a physiological change internally. When nothing's going on outside, there's nothing for the body to pay attention to outside. And so all attention is drawn inward, decreasing stress hormones, increasing endorphins, which are your happy hormones and your body's natural painkiller, balancing the two hemispheres of your brain, decreasing your brain wave activity, slowing it right down to the theta state even though you're awake. It's kind of like putting you in a, a zen meditation state. And in this relaxation repose, all sorts of physical things are happening, all sorts of mental relaxation is happening. But the whole thing is to really just draw you back into yourself, balance your body back into equilibrium, so that you can function properly again from that starting point of relaxation. So you float in a tank, kind of like a giant jelly bean. It's got about 30 centimeters of water in it, about 500 to 650 kilograms of magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salts. And the water's heated to your external skin temperature. There's no light, there's no sound. Because the water's heated to the temperature of your skin, there's no sense of touch, you kind of lose where your body ends and where the water starts. And there's no effect of gravity on you because you're actually popped to the surface like a cork, floating on this very, very salty water. So in this environment where you have absolutely no stimulation on your body, you're creating this lack of outside the stimulation so that you have the inside to start to do the work. It's really, really great for anxiety because it helps to recreate this equilibrium state, bring people back to a state where they know, where their unconscious mind, where their nervous system knows that it's okay. And when it knows that it's okay, it functions as though it's strong again. So it's really good for anxiety, it's good for stress, it's great for insomnia, and it's really, really good for chronic pain. Flotation therapy does one of kind of two things for you when you experience it. You either go into this wonderful dreamlike state where you drift off, kind of like, you know when you're just about to fall asleep and you have that experience where you have these really vivid dream images. Or you're very alert when you come and float and you find that you don't drift off and you're not asleep and you're just in this quiet dark space for quite a long time. It's an hour in the tank. So some people find that hard to just be in for an hour not doing anything but other people just love that silence and the experience when you come out is generally people feel very relaxed there's kind of a stillness inside of you so people feel very very settled they have this experience that everything seems a little bit sharper and clearer and that's because there's a part of the brain that's busy filtering information all the time and when you're in this lack of stimulation that part of your brain filters ever so slightly less and so the world suddenly seems very alive and very clear and very sharp to them, which is really nice. So the door to the tank is very light. You'll open it when you let yourself in and again when you let yourself out. So for anybody who's worried about being claustrophobic or stuck inside the tank, that's really not a concern at all because it's so light, they're really in complete control the whole way through. Anybody can float and you can float as often as you like. There is no, there's no reason not to, even pregnant ladies float, except if you've got those kidney problems and liver problems. We don't get them float. And people who suffer from paranoia and psychosis, obviously, because you're getting into this dark space and then you don't want to be like, where am I? What's going on? And freak out. <laughs>